I don't have a vision of death. I've just been told stories about the journey back to the spirit world. And that is from when you're born, they, they educate you. He said, what he told me was, he said, we were born on this earth to, to live. And then he says, as you live, he says, you prepare yourself for the journey back to the spirit world as a learning part between your soul, your mind, your heart, and all the emotions inside this body. If you let something bother you, you start having the aches and pains. You know, your back will hurt, your arm or something will hurt, or your mind will start to go crazy if you, if you go off of balance. But you, this, is, this is the learning experience of a spirit. The spirit is the one that's learning. The body is just a shell. But that soul is the main instrument in that body. And that soul comes from the spirit world. And it's going to be here for that, from the time you're born. You see these four faces, the face of the child, adolescent, adult, aged. And if you make it back, you complete the circle. Then your body goes back to the earth where it came from. But the spirit's going to travel back onto the spirit world with the knowledge it, it had from what you learned. And these teachings have to come from your own self. You have to learn how to balance the emotions that's in you first. Discover that within yourself so that you can create within you a perfect union between your soul and the body. Mind, heart, soul, so you know how to balance it. And when you do that, you, you're balancing the fear also so you don't fear death. Where in organized religion, they always tell you, fear God or you'll burn in hell, and all this. Well, there's no, there's no hell. Hell is what you create for yourself. Hell was created by some organized religious leader. Hell is what's going to happen if you, don't, if you go off balance. Time is on this planet is what you learn, and, and there's time to go. You, you go back to the spirit world as humble and as good as you can. But also they tell me later here in the ceremonies, that we incarnate four times. We come to this planet four times. And each time we come, we learn more. We learn more. And after the fourth time, you completed your mission. Your spirit is completed. And it's not just on this planet. We have other areas around this space. The American Gal but the Milky Way galaxy is just a little speck in a space that's enormous. And we have travels out there that we can accomplish, we can go to as spirits. We don't have to be stuck here with material wealth, gold, money, or anything. We're here to learn and then travel on. It's not, it's not being attached to anything. In our cult, in our Lakota way, when, when a person, we, we have a ceremony for that. You know, when they, their journey's done, what you do is you, you mourn them for four days again. Because they say it takes four days for the spirit to travel to the spirit world. Okay, so you, you, you have this mourning and then you enjoy, you laugh, you joke because that spirit loves to enjoy laughter. And see, we do this at, at wakes, you know, when somebody da dies on the reservation. And Christians come around and they say, oh, you're supposed to be a humble person. No. My sister or my brother, he liked to laugh. So we laugh, we joke about it, we tease each other because his soul is going to the spirit world in a good way. This is how we do. And then you keep the soul, you know, you keep his identity, his memory for a year. After the year is over, then you have a giveaway. You give away everything he owned, ever had. You give it to people who could use it. And then they carry it on. And then that soul is back to the spirit world. Because you know there's no word in Lakota for goodbye. That means I'll see you again. Because we're going to one day see that soul in the spirit world again. Because we knew each other in the spirit world. We came here. All of us knew each other in the spirit world one time. I knew you. I knew her. And I knew him. We just came at different places on this planet. And as we talk to each other, we start to realize, like my wife, I've known her a couple of lives. So 
Sometimes they come back visit us. My sister comes and visits me at our house. My mother's always with me. My great-grandfather's always with me. They're probably here right now. You just don't see them. 